Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So I am here in Cosmic Dave's lair and uh, what I'm looking at here is the wire that he winds his bagels on and this is 22 gauge uh, garden wire which is zinc coated so uh, it is galvanized uh, ferrous material and then the copper wire that he's using is this 155 degrees rated uh, magnet wire and uh, it's the sort of stuff you get off uh, Amazon or, or eBay, something like that. And so that is what is uh, producing these bagels. On this, which is his bagel winder, and uh, what has been added is uh, this device here. And uh, in addition to the original um, spool, and what that does is it pulls the material off the spool to prevent uh, the speed change uh, going on with uh, the wire as stuff would otherwise coil around here changing the uh, diameter and increase the spool size and that would change the uh, feed rate over here and therefore the windings would uh, start to separate a little bit anyway we'll go through uh, the overall configuration so the the garden wire is over here uh, this zinc coat garden what coated garden wire and it's on this spool uh, which is very simply mounted uh, with some PVA glue and it's all the, the whole thing is built on a uh, piece of hardboard and it has a piece of uh, uh, wood tensioning this over here you can see uh, it has a little spring over here and that tensions this uh, to keep the feeding nice and smooth and then it goes through some uh, sort of brass piping and these little fittings which are uh, grommet screwed onto the end. These are all sort of things bought off eBay or you can get them uh, on Amazon in, in the UK or you can get them in model shops actually in Europe and probably in the US as well. And so that gets fed through there and it comes through to the winder and you can see the copper spool that we just showed earlier here uh, is on this uh, unit and this is being fed by this belt this tooth belt and this tensioned uh, geared motor down here and that is controlled as are all the other motors by this little analog control unit where there, there's a 12 volt coming in here and you've got a forward or backwards on the particular uh, spool winder here this one and then you um, rotate these to set up the various speeds of the geared motors Okay, so that's what's going on there. And then this is a disc, uh, which is just, again, sort of bought as a standard uh, pre-cut discs. And he's got a bit of plumbing uh, fitting here and some uh, uh, sort of foam felt here type thing, rubbery type stuff. And then he has this like a rack. Maybe I can zoom into that a little bit here and you can get to see some closeness on that. So there's a bonded onto the edge of the wooden disc with that little gear, that little sprocket there again on a piece of brass piping and that is controlling the feed rate and in this case we don't want it to slip okay now over here modeled off the sort of old he says uh, cinematic projectors uh, we have another spool here and this is where the finished wire will be collected and this gear and this motor down here are being allowed to slip and if you look underneath it has this little rubber band which is tensioning it. Now he's going to replace this probably with a, a rubber wheel and so it can slip in that way and doesn't make this clicky noising which would be if you had to live with it it would become irritating after a while. So, but that just keeps that spool of the finished product um, collected over here without changing the feed rate over here. Okay, so I'm going to do some zoom ins um, on this so we can see various things. Now, the other thing is, he found that these uh, laptop stands were very useful for um, you know, prototyping because you can uh, raise them up and lower them down with almost infinite sort of allow, um, variability. And also they're aluminium, so you can drill holes in them and they've got some holes in them anyway, so you can bolt things onto them. So it makes a nice sort of prototyping base. Uh, this is actually a Kenko coffee tin. 
Uh, so use what you've got available. And this whole thing reminds me very much of Alexander Parkamov's uh, N-radiation or Relic Neutrino condensate uh, detector that I witnessed in his Moscow uh, apartment, East Moscow apartment in 2015. Now other notable things that you've got on here are the counter here. And uh, if you look into that, you can see that uh, it's done 1,227, eight, nine turns. And the way he's got that is uh, it's just got a little transducer up the top there. And on the back of the uh, feed for the magnet wire, he has a magnet. And as that passes the transducer, if I go and zoom in there, you can see it is counting that. So that is the kind of basic uh, overview of it. And uh, essentially things are clamped into position or they are glued into position or they are sticky uh, double-sided tape into position. And then what you do is you align uh, the wire up on the uh, spool and the other spool and then you twiddle these knobs until you get the feed rate uh, suitable and uh, hopefully if everything's working correctly it'll just sit there and do it. Now earlier when the feed rate wasn't correct uh, we ended up with, if you can see here I'll put the tripod on the table to get some stability here. Um, if I zoom in here you'll see a couple of the windings were uh, ended up looking a little bit springy uh, but the ones above you can see are nice and consistent so maybe we can go even sit closer to that so there we go so the ones down the bottom were when the feed rate wasn't good enough but the ones uh, on the top there are really rather nice now it, it is still obviously a prototype and uh, occasionally it might have some issues and you can see here at this point in the wire there was an issue and these are things you need to be aware of. But uh, where it's winding currently, if we can get that into shot, yeah, it's doing a very nice job. Very, very clean feed on the wire there. Oh, and now it's just gone off. <laughs> yeah, the feed, the feed has now overlapped. So th these are the sort of bug, bug fixing things that one needs to work through. Um, and, and that's it really. So a quick overview from the top down, you have the, the feed coming through a brass pipe and uh, you've got the winder on a belt. Uh, you have your geared motor here controlled by over there and then another geared motor uh, with a different ratio. Uh, so these, these come in different speed ratio and gearing ratios and uh, another one over here. And so those are the three controls on that. So uh, that's Cosmic Dave's spool generator uh, of w wound wire on a wire for producing bagels. So thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.